Hello, my math lit kids. How's it going? What's up? What's gooch? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm that old. Okay. Six years ago, we used to say what's what's gooch. Like what's Gucci? Yeah, ridiculous, man. 2019 matrix were on a different buzz. So I know you guys are stressing a little bit. Um, I'll try my best to keep your worries at bay. Uh, let's get into it. So for your paper tomorrow, um, I assume you're writing tomorrow. Okay, you know how how dare you how dare you assume how dare you assume my gender? Okay, look, I, I you should be writing tomorrow. You should be writing your prelims tomorrow. Maybe you're watching in 2026, 2027. I don't know. Maybe you're like a grade 10 wanting to get a head start. Whatever it is, um, maps and plans and measurements. Those are uh, your big two sections for tomorrow. And please don't highlight my like me like a, like a mampara. Sorry. I need to do it in the in the lines. So maps and plans is going to be a gross total there of 40% plus minus got a bit of leeway. So either 35 or 45 and measurement is the big one. It's kind of like finance and paper one. And we've got some probability. So um, this could include some integration of your paper one work. Income and expenditure, profit and loss, maybe a bit of break even, cost price, selling price, and like some markup, you know, some some accounting Tings, how's how's that? You you've probably never heard anyone say accounting tings. Welcome to Goon School. So, question one, those relatively basic questions. It's thirty marks plus minus five marks, so a range twenty five to thirty five, and just some basic level one questions from from measurements or from maps and plans. That was the worst highlight you've ever seen in your life. Look, I'll I'll cue to you. Can someone just teach me how to highlight? That's probably this pen. You know, maybe I should have been a doctor. Because my handwriting is also awful. So, yeah, re relatively basic questions um, from measurements and maps and plans. Uh, they could integrate it in the same question. It's not too deep. Question one is focused solely on lower order thinking. Question two, three, four, that's when things start to heat up. Question two is solely maps and plans. Question three is solely measurement. And then we have this nice integrated context question with measurements, maps and plans, and it could include some paper one concepts too, and a nice probability five percenter. Um, usually the last question of the paper or last question of the question of the section. So if we get into some stuff, um, the, the nitty gritty here, our measurement question, Focus here being on conversions and time, meter and area, volume and surface area. Look, conversions, converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, millimeters to centimeters, millimeters to kilometers, liters to kiloliters, milliliters to liters, whatever it is, all types of, uh, of conversions. I could have made like some kind of like religious conversion joke, but, uh, you know, I'm trying not to offend anyone because I, I say some hectic things sometimes. But I mean, that, that's why you guys watch the videos, right? You, you you like to hear the nonsense that I say. Okay, look, I'm, I'm just trying my best to assist you with uh, with your studies, okay? Um, so yeah, metric to imperial system. So the metric system, all the Commonwealth countries use it. Imperial system used in the in the US of A. Uh, time, timetables, transport, buses, trains, taxis. Um, production periods, like building a house, tides from the sea. Look, if, if you're watching this video right now, tonight, what did you think of that orange moon? Beautiful, huh? But yeah, uh, regarding timetables, like, oh, you, you wake up at 5.30, you gotta be at school at 6.30, it takes you five minutes to brush your teeth, 10 minutes to shower, five minutes to change, 20 minutes transport, five minutes to walk to school. Do you get to school on time and stuff like that. Perimeter and area. I mean, what can I really say about this? Perimeter is that like fence around your farm, the area, the actual, you know, crops on your farm or the land that it occupies. That's basically it. Volume, like, you know, if I just pour a lot of water on your farm and you know, it didn't soak into the ground, but like it just rose, rose, rose. Okay, that, that's a terrible example. I just think of volume like, you know, when you wash your lunchbox, you probably don't wash your lunchbox, okay? You're lazy, very lazy. You don't study, you don't wash your lunchbox, you don't do anything, okay? You're, whoever you live with probably agrees with me, no, I'm, I'm joking. Um, if you just fill your lunchbox up with water um, and once it gets to the brim, like that is the volume of the lunchbox. Like how many milliliters or liters of water did you put in your lunchbox? Surface area, think of the, the pyramids of Giza, or shall we talk about Gaza? Free Palestine, Giza. Um, yeah, you would 
calculate those four triangles, those four triangular faces, and the area of the square, which is the base. And you'd add those four triangle areas up and the square, and you'd get your surface area. So yeah, uh, nothing too hectic here. Um, mass and weight as well. BMI. BMI is your your weight over your, your height squared, um, and then you compare it to the chart. Maybe you're underweight, healthy weight, overweight, or maybe you're obese. Scale, you've got a ratio scale where they literally give you a ratio, a bar, uh, where they'll say, okay, one centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers. The distance from Randburg to Santon is 10 kilometers, um, or, or 10 centimeters rather. How many is it in real life? 10 kilometers or, or vice versa. They could tell you that the distance from Joburg to Durban is 600 kilometers. How would you indicate that on a ratio scale, bar scale? It could work whichever way you like. Uh, maps, some basic grid references. Look, my, my geography kids, it's, it's really not map work. It's really not that deep. Um, and like revision of finance and all of that. Look, this is just the ATP, the, the annual teaching plan. With reference to plan, like diagrams, assembly instructions, like, oh, this is how you make a, a chair or table, like, you know, like we're in Ikea. Well, we don't really have Ikea in South Africa, do we? That Swedish brand. Um, and then we've got your your standard plans, like, oh, look, we've got this auditorium, we've got 12 chairs, um, you know, which is the best chair to sit in if we want like a panoramic view or if we want uh, a view of the window or hey why can't we put plants on this table um yeah because it's going to block people from looking at each other so some like basic interpretation questions there uh models like you because you're so beautiful yeah you, you're stunning yes you um just solving those packaging questions uh 3d scale models 2d pictures um, arranging items, estimations, it's really nothing too hectic there in the model section. And yeah, this is more or less uh, what things are going to look like. Um, measurement is the big question, but I mean, again, you, you've been doing this for, for so long. So I like to say paper two is generally a softer paper. I know a lot of you will disagree. Uh, your paper one knowledge is up there. Your finance, your tax is too good. Um, but yeah, most... Most students tend to perform better in paper two. Maybe it's like more spatial understanding and awareness. Maybe that's just my sample space, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. It's a nice, nice vibe. Maybe I should put like some background music on, you know, like some nice, like a background track. And, you know, we can just like chill out. We can jive a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, like play some like I'm a piano in the back. Like Zala Tuxin. You know that song? I plan. What a banger that is. I listen to a lot of I'm a piano, hey? Absolute tracks. Gotta get ready for Ketty Samba. Now that winter is over, I can, you know, start start going to the gym. You know, improve my BMI. <laughs> you see what I did there? Okay. Last joke for the video. I love you. Bye. Good luck for your paper.